All right, we're here with the other otter from the new set, um, one that is notably better, at least I assume it is. <laughs> uh, Ral Crackling Wit, uh, four mana, four f loyalty. Uh, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a loyalty counter on this, and then its plus is make an otter token with prowess. Um, it's minus three is draw three, discard two, and then it's minus ten is draw three, and then all of your instant sorceries have uh, storm. So you can do all the treasure things and all the lightning bolt shock things to kill your opponent, uh, but none of that is nearly as good as taking infinite turns and stuff like that, right? I think I could probably, because of the passive ability, run more one mana cards and maybe a few even more two mana cards just so I can very quickly get to the minus 10. However, I don't think the minus 10 is super crucial in winning and if I'm relying extremely heavily on a deck just like the last one <laughs> that runs a ton of one mana cards but I'm relying on an ultimate that comes 10 years later, I don't think that's a good idea. So this looks more like a normal the other row that costs four and then it can like you minus it and it just copies your next spell uh it's kind of like that or niv mizzet perun i guess as well so it's like a blue red control counter spell some burn spells kind of deck i'm not running any of the red board wipes i absolutely can see some coming in but for now i'm just not making room for them because i want to focus more on the text box of this as per usual because i haven't played it before let's try to you know utilize this instead of just ignoring it um all the mana rocks on two because every single commander that costs four probably wants all the mana rocks that cost two and that's really about it i just try to play this hide behind the one ones and um ultimate it take extra turns drown people in spell based value and that's it pretty straightforward i think so like comment subscribe let's let's see what happens uh, this is the... This Liliana went up in price a lot recently. Uh, maybe this reprinting brings it back down, but... I always like this one. So, commandeering my opponent's commander is hilarious. I don't think this is a commander to commandeer, though. <laughs> but I really haven't gotten the chance to commandeer anything, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this. Oh, Thought sees me. Oh, wait, wait, how, how stupid should I be? Fine, fine, fine. Fine. They can still take it. It would actually be kind of nuts if they took Commandeer, but it's not like Commandeer's going away if they don't take it. So they take the Minad Rock, which makes sense. Makes a lot of sense, actually. It's probably what I would take. With no 2-drop, I'm not sure, though. Without a 2-drop, the sensor now exists, so... Who knows? I don't really need that. Okay, now I kind of wish I had it, but this is still fine. I could even foretell this, but I don't really care about the birds, and I'd rather leave up a card my opponent uh, knows about. Alright, so I'm going to cycle this, even though my post next turn could be Liliana, and I could not draw a blue spellers, but that's probably fine to me. Let's play this and pass. I did hit the blue source. I can Jirari Disruption. You got it. Now, Mono Black without a bunch of early pressure is an interesting one. Alright, I will probably counter that. I don't even have to. There's nothing it can find. And how many artifacts do I have in my deck? Okay. I don't have any artifacts. They discarded my artifact. This can't do anything. The minus two has no text. So. Um, that's. I think that's good on my opponent for casting it. I like that. I like that. That's a good idea. I uh, will draw. That's a good way to bait counter spells. Very smart. Okay, I'll make my opponent think I did not have an untapped land. And just play like that. We can get rid of Commandeer. I can get rid of Transformation. 
Let's probably get rid of the thing that does that. So it looks like there's a lot of preparation on my opponent's side for my commander to resolve. So what I probably should do is not play it. <laughs> what I probably should do is uh, not cast my commander. This is fine. That's fine. That is A-OK. -okay. There are not many things they could take other than a counterspell that really mean anything to me. So if they just take a counterspell, I don't really care. It's just a card my opponent must now leave up for all eternity, right, basically. Um, I'm willing to get rid of the status field. Stasis field, excuse me. That's fine. Oh, wait, hold on. We don't have treasure tokens. All right. Opponent, opponent has a way of doing things. They should just plus on the treasure token. They did not. They could have just done that, though. Um, I wish this was an instant. Alright, so now I actually have Commandeer Hardcast. That's different. I don't see that every day. I don't believe my opponent wins this game in a Drago setting. Especially how they've been missing lands for like five turns in a row. Okay. Let's not get bullied out of the game. Maybe it made sense to just commandeer, like, the first thing possible, but I, I don't know. I, I don't think that makes sense. I don't think that makes sense. Let's get you. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Yeah, alright, see? Like, <laughs> I don't have to commit my commander, and in a blue-red matchup, you can't just go draw go like this. You're gonna lose the game. OCD, maybe. I don't know if Utter Insignificance is good enough, especially with Spell Pierce and a Mono Green Creature deck, so... Okay, we have Commandeer, and that's... We have it again. It is interesting to hedge against what is my opponent's um, first very big, scary spell. Yep, there's the mandatory one-drop as well, of course. Why not? Must be nice. Literal perfection. Stealing um, Azusa is not as good as stealing the card they, like, cheat out for 20 mana, so. Face down cards after the game ends? I think you can. Yeah, you can. You can. Just not heist it once because, uh, magic is dumb. Okay, my opponent named Bird on Cavern of Souls, and I don't really know why. I don't really know why. I am a little confused as why bird would be the most crucial thing that you cavern that doesn't really seem like it makes sense. <clears throat> yep, so they got the mana for days. But unless you do something with it, I don't particularly care. Primal Command. Alright, well, I have to kind of not lose to that, so let's not get rid of you and you. Um, let's put back that. Search my library for Ragavang. Wait, do I? Yeah, why not? I mean, it's kind of weird. My opponent will just block it, but I don't know. It's funny. So, my opponent has one card in hand, and no way to present lethal on this. So, I'll just run it out. Now, it's just uh, that last card. Is it an I win the game card? Alright, look at that! Commandeer! <laughs> look at that, dude. Commandeer. That last card didn't matter. Yep, well, like I said, Azusa is not nearly as good as other Mono Green decks uh, when they really need the good card out of hand. I don't know what it is with the Grixis control decks and their uh, heisting fetish, but it seems like most of the Grixis decks just heist. Maybe it's like some streamer made the deck and everyone just copied it. But I don't really get it. Not to say it's bad, it just I, I don't really... I don't get it. Also, being on the draw is probably the worst thing imaginable. Like, of all the things and factors in this game, being on the draw is, is probably the worst thing.
What the heck is that? Okay, another random heist fetish card. Sure, sure. I fully expect my commander to immediately die, and then I guess I can just concede. Uh, play that, play this. Surely this 1-1 one, one, um, goes the distance. Okay. Play... I don't have another way to get a blue source in play, huh? So... Just random tap land. And I don't believe I'm going to attack in case there's something crazy. Doing one damage makes zero sense. I'm just going to pass. Tails End was a good draw, but uh, I don't know. Five, six, seven... Yeah, I don't know. That's fine. Sack this, destroy up to one creature, artifact, and land. So it blows up a land later, but I'm not really concerned about that. I don't think I'm concerned about that. I will just send this card, though, because it's not really doing anything. I think I'll just send it. But I'm not really worried about them blowing up one of my lands. Although I only have one blue source, so maybe it actually is a big deal. I wonder if this is counter-worthy. I feel like countering to protect the boombox is insane, but I don't know. I expect them to have stolen counter spells to, to some degree here. Okay. Alright. Um, do I have an ultimate? Hold on. I might actually have an ultimate here. I didn't expect that. So, two spells? Or just two non-creature spells. So, one and two? Wow. Okay. I think it's probably a good idea to get a one mana spell here. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I don't get all the heisting. I don't understand the, the desire, the fetish for heisting in your Nicol Bolas Grixis decks. <laughs> and the other one that commits crimes. Like, Grixis just loves the heist, but in, like, run Grenzo and stuff, and I don't really get it. You're randomly stealing cards, and that can be good, but, like, you're out of cards. My opponent has no cards. <laughs> they have my cards. Alright, so it's mono black again. My hand is a little loose, but it has Seek New Knowledge, so that probably doesn't matter. Shambles, sure. Love to see it. Never upset with a turn one Shambles, because it's, you know, not Ragavan. Never upset with zero two-minute spell. Let's go get ourselves our Surveilly Whaley. Boop. I don't know what I'm looking for, though. Uh, sh yeah, we want more lands. So it's guaranteed that I'm, I'm like, spending my mana this turn cycle. I'd rather not shock myself for no reason. I could just, like, wait. Field of Ruin is... doesn't do anything, actually. I'm going to cast this because I like my whole hand. So I'll cast this. Wash away and disallow. Disallow is more security. Actually, they're kind of identical. Let's just take the one mana one that sometimes costs one. Shambles can just sit here all day. I do not care. They're blowing up a land. They're blowing up a land. Okay. Uh, you got it. <laughs> Yeah. Go for it. I still really like my hand. I might not cast Seek New Knowledge. This could just be one of those games where I, like, don't cast my commander. I almost want the gate, but I think I want more blue mana. I do have triple blue cards, and casting two blue spells is fine. Right? So I see zero reason to do anything. I do not have to play magic. This is one of those positions where my opponent is like absolute nightmare scenario. I'm not gonna cast this. I will cast this and give them the treasure token. I think that's fine. I want to get rid of this utter insignificance. It is utterly insignificant. I like to draw lands too, so. I can survive not drawing a land though. I can survive that. So we're going to play as though our commander basically doesn't exist. 
opponent definitely has some kind of removal for it. I can just cycle this time warp too if I want. Uh, yeah, time warp. I keep mixing up time walk and time warp. No, oh, they do the same thing, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. That is totally fine. If my opponent focuses on that, we're not upset. Okay, so now, let's see here. I would like to... Mm, I can... I'm going to cycle this. I'm going to cycle it. You can't stop me. I'm going to just get it out of my hand. I feel like I'm going to make a mistake if I keep it, so... If I play this and they kill my commander, uh, that's fine. Do they know about any card in my hand? They do not. Okay. I found a way to generate pressure as well, interestingly enough. Carnage Bastion lets them flip the treasure map, but again, if we're doing this Drago thing, I don't think treasure map tokens are... Like, drawing off the treasure map is going to change the dynamic of what's happening. I think I'm going to get rid of Shock. And there's not much of an incentive to cast my commander, so I won't. Sounds good to me. Can leave up Arcane Infusion, which I think I actually could have cast last turn and forgot. They do not flip the treasure map. They could have flipped it with Karn's Bastion. Maybe my opponent's just not aware of that. Yeah, I don't think they knew they could have done that. Because upkeep scrying the same card doesn't make any sense. Whatever... I don't really know what insane card you'd keep on top. I really don't know. Like in a Drago scenario in Mono Black. Maybe like uh, an Eldrazi? Could be an Eldrazi. Alright, well, I'm going to make their decisions harder and harder here. That's free enough, I think. But they have a way to draw cards. Two cards a turn. Well, I, I mean, again, I'm, I'm kind of just like... <laughs> spinning my wheels here. <laughs> Opponent is not making me do anything. And uh, you can't really play draw go against a control deck with a bunch of counterspells. Until you overload them with a turn of worthwhile things to do. And, well, so far I haven't seen it. Ooh, I love this. I love this. They didn't proliferate. Opponent. <laughs> they scried on top. My opponent scried on top. Well, this game is... Uh, it's one of those games where I like draw versus go is so important that it's it makes your head spin. Play versus draw, whatever. No, imagine I had Tails End. I'd probably just win the game. Uh, well, now that I don't have it, I guess I could just play this. Staff of Completion? That's deep. That is deep. Alright, did we lose the game? Nope. No wash away skim. Do we flip Rao this turn? It's kind of hard, but something possible. Could just like bounce my Rao too, like it worked too. Don't necessarily have to uh, flip anything. Okay. Well, I can lose that way, too. Uh, I don't have a good way to stop that. Like, at all, actually. 
All right. Uh, best case scenario, they did not block. Shatter and shock. So we blow, we kill this, and we blow that up, and the prowess uh, finishes it off. So they need a one minute spell here. It needs to be really good. Oh no, they can pay life to proliferate. I forgot. Oh, I forgot. All right, it's fine. Actually, I have a way to circumvent that. Never mind. So poke them because the prowess just kills it anyways. Okay. All right, all things considered, that was an excellent uh, turn for me because they didn't block. Although if they did block, I could kill this Ral. And, I don't know. We'd just be doing that. Okay, is this a spot where I get scammed by a card out of blue and red? Actually, it doesn't even... It could still be a blue and red card. This card is so stupid. I'm actually flabbergasted this card is still in the game. It blows my mind. I think I'm actually going to get a Seek Land. No, no, more blue. I mean, look at my hands. I just want more blue mana. Of course they flip it too, right? Why not? Well, it's not doing anything at least. And it's not doing anything for a long time, actually. Four cards in the graveyard. This costs four. So, I would like to hit a land, but it's probably best to leave up my Tail's End. Just gonna do that. Okay, or my opponent could just do nothing. That works too. Mana Drain is, you know, well, it is what it is. And I guess a land... Play this foretell here. Leave up mana drain. This commander is not that good when it doesn't just immediately flip at eight. It takes a long time for it to do anything. I do not care about hard evidence. I should have left this land up actually if I drew brainstorm or something. Although maybe not. I do have a tap land to find. Okay. So, mere convert or solve the equation. Let's cast solve the equation. I can get all sorts of things here. Treasure cruise, big score, another counter spell, Archmage's Charm. Let's get Archmage's Charm. That way I can, if I don't need it, could use it to draw or something. I can stifle the Ral ultimate, if that ends up mattering. Yeah, I can stifle it. There's not a lot of cards just a explosion of eight spells concerns me about, but like, I don't know. Um And when you seek it doesn't shuffle, so if I want to draw this land, I still can. This is fine. I don't think my opponent's really going to use the mana drain mana. I don't expect them to, really. Not concerned about that. Which is why I didn't comment on it. <laughs> when I ordinarily complain every time mana drain is cast. Opponent's not really using it. Just sort of sitting there. I feel like I really want to draw this land. Oh, they just simply wanted to draw. Sure. Okay. Draw engine. I can get behind that. I did not expect them to cast that. Not gonna lie, but I, I'll try to stop it. There's a good chance the Key to the Archi Archive card is a counter spell. Let's find out. I think it is. It hasn't been anything else. Okay, well if it is, they weren't willing to fight over it. I also did not get my mana drain value because I accidentally mana drained. I, I countered the wrong card there. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Big mistake. Okay. The last card in hand is the key to the archive trap card. Scam card. Maybe it's lightning bolt. Who knows? Maybe it's nothing. My opponent's not really that upset with Ral dying because Ral does a good job at like undoing that idea of dying. Okay. What is this card? Show me. Still not showing me. Okay. Interesting. 
It must be... I don't know. I don't know. It was a lightning bolt. Okay. I cannot cast River's Rebuke because this card exists. Alright, this was foretold. So, didn't say please or whatever. Or saw it coming, rather. Let's see if they commit it to a random... No, this is better. I think this is better. Is this better? Sure. Surely you counter this. Okay. It is not a counter spell. It is not a counter spell. So, maybe the draw card? No, no, they could have cast that too. The extra turn? Alright, sure. You got some birds. Sure. They can harass my commander for a little, but it, that doesn't really bother me that much. I think I'm actually going to Lightning Bolt their commander. I think. If I had a better read, I could have blocked these. If I was, if I had a better read there. I just uh, didn't. I really don't want to bounce the key to the archive, dude. I, I just like really don't want to do that. Alright. We're still super, super ahead, I think. Or at least it feels like we are. Um. Okay, I'll just kill the crab. But even if Ral just sat there, I'm not upset, right? Have I built Zada? Yeah, I've, I think I have built Zada. That's the Sultai version of Kulain, right? That's the Sultai Kulain. I think I've, I've played Kulain. I think I've played Football Zada. Okay, there's not much my opponent can do at this point. Even if I didn't have the counter spell, there's not really many draws. If they had Rivers Rebuke right now, actually, I guess this would matter, but this card needs to be like, yeah, it needs to just be phenomenal. So, yeah, Ralph flipping is awkward because it's very hard flipping this at a high loyalty, right? And when you're not doing that, its intermediate effect is not that exciting, like the plus and the minus aren't really that amazing. So unless you're really going crazy with it, it's very hard to work. This is not looking like a Guardian Idol deck right now. You know, the more I'm playing, the more I don't want my mana rocks. I wonder if we can try without them. I wonder if we can try without them. I don't know. We can keep going with them though for now. So I'm going to get Steam Vents and I am going to cast it. I'm not playing Chatterfane next turn. Just gonna cast my spells. Hope I draw a land. If not, I'm not totally screwed. We'll see. Okay, that is an excellent trade for me. Unfortunately, no untapped land. If I got an untapped land right then and there, I think I would have just like won the game definitively. But I did not. It would be a very good position for me though. It is what it is. Go on. Shatter those fangs. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Uh. Okay. Their commander is not a black spell, if anyone was curious. I will let that exist. This is the exact same cards my last opponent had. Whenever one or more creatures die, food, whenever sacrifices, mill two. Okay, that is annoying. I think I'm actually going to kill that. Or stop that. Yeah, that's a problem. The Jadar zombie is not as big of a deal as this, like, sinking mana, and I can't stop it once it's in play. Um, I can play my commander and plus it, and then use my burn spells to sort of stabilize. Famous last words. But, like, they play Chatterfang, they make a zombie, they make a squirrel, and then I have, like, all of this to sort of offset that. I really want them to play Chatterfang here. And nothing else. That is not as bad as Chatterfang. It's Shambly again. Oh, look at that. I will probably block this. Yeah. Alright, so we have a bunch of things to kill here with our spells with text. And I don't believe there's any incentive to fire anything off except this immediately, so they don't get another clue token. I could have waited, though. You know what? I should have waited on my opponent's turn. 
that was a mistake. Should have waited. This only gives two energy? Why does it only give two energy? Do they get nerfed and I'm not aware? It must have got nerfed and I'm not aware. Perpetual Planeswalkers. <laughs> Did I say that? I don't remember saying that. I plead the fifth. I don't, I don't remember that. You're putting words in my mouth. Oh, you said that. Okay. Alright, opponent's thinking. Opponent, uh, not gonna... No. Banned. That card is banned. It's another pre-combat spell, so now I have prowess and can trade with the zombie. Although, I guess it trades on its own. Like, it just kills itself, so it doesn't actually mean anything. Keep my counters on the rail. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Correct. Correct. Desu. Okay, so we block, and then we kill the Jadar? Wait a minute, I can get the ultimate if I simply block the zombie and kill the token, right? Or block and it doesn't matter what order I do it, I guess. It, yeah, it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. I will allow my opponent to make decisions for no reason. They can cast Chatterfang if they make a treasure token, but I clearly I don't care anymore. Like that we're past that. I have the Ral ultimate. And both of these cards are excellent, so I won't get rid of them. Get wrecked. Look at that. Yep. Get wrecked. Recently watched almost all my videos on YouTube. Keep up the great work. You ever play t uh, Turgrid in Brawl? Thanks for the comment. And I don't think I... Ooh, I'm not sure. It's hard to remember because I play things like once and never play it again. So if it was a year ago, six months ago, it might as well have been a whole different lifetime. <laughs> uh, but if you watched all my videos and couldn't find it, probably not. And if it's been that long, it certainly could be played differently if I played it again. But, uh, I, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if I played it. I do... I do like that deck. I do like that commander, I should say. Okay, let's play this tapped. This is the, uh, Narset that, like... Yep, yeah, I was gonna say. Likes to play Mana Rocks, and of course I couldn't stop it because I was on the draw. Not that I would stop this anyways. Go on. Yeah, that's right. You you do that thing you did. That's right. Alright, so triple blue is ideal for this Archmage's Charm. Um, I don't believe I'm getting the gate right now. That is fine. This draw go versus this is kind of rough. I think they're favored in this kind of instance, as opposed to us, especially if they find Cavernous Souls. If they find Cavern, I think the game's over immediately, so... Yeah, uh, Turgrid, if you get the Lantern in play, by the time that would matter, you are correct. I'm going to cast this on my face. No, it's my only counterspell. I will not do that. I will not do that. Hmm. Yeah, the, the Turgrid is very depressing. Very depressing card, let me tell you. That is a lot of mana rocks. This is an insane amount of mana rocks. I mean, I get it, but like... Jeez. Okay, let's cycle this. Not really doing anything. Found a land. Let's get a steam vents. The problem is I can't really play magic safely while everything is happening the way that it is. Do I need an untapped land? I think I do, because I want negate and charm up at the same time. I mean, yeah, I could put it on the list. I could play it. I'm not against it. I've done my run through Bloomboro for the most part already. Okay, that's a trap. No reason to counter that. No reason to counter that. <laughs> Knock yourself out. None of that matters. This is why you don't counter the extra turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. They can recast it, and I have no answer to it. It does have hexproof. Okay, I found an answer to it, but now I can't cast said answer if I also cast that. So I can pay three. I think I just pass here. Oh goodness. Yeah. Okay. Pretty sad. I'm just gonna pass.
Get schmeeded? Hey, get schmeeded. More commander ideas. You could also try dragonless Mirin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Slow down here. One idea at a time. <laughs> Everybody calm down, please. One idea at a time. One idea at a time, please. Okay, so I would really like to cast this, but if I don't... Oh, wait a minute! My opponent has, like, no way to give their commander haste. There's no way to give my commander... Like, they can't give it haste, currently. One, two, three, four... Five, six... I will still... I will still dredge eight. I will still do it. Maybe I find something that matters. Uh, okay, I kind of did, actually. I kind of did. I'm gonna cast this first, in case I find Wash Away. Oh, wait, no, I can't Wash Away. Ah, I can't Wash Away anyways. Tragic. Alright, never mind. Still find a cast, I guess, but is what it is. So, they cast this for six, they can then not cast an extra turn, if that's what that is. This has first strike, right? Yeah. But hopefully River's Rebuke is... Oh, never mind. No land? Ah. Never mind, they didn't need one. They did not need a land. Cloning clones is insane, yeah. Okay, um, probably still completely and utterly fine because I have River's Rebuke and that makes my opponent's life horrible. Get wrecked. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. I, I, I've, that was just the cleanest win I've had in... I don't even know. I just... That was such a clean win. And the um, not countering this was huge. I came to that conclusion really fast. I came to that really fast. Like, right when it hit the stack, I knew not to counter it. You got a brainstorm? Okay, I played against this before. It was a while ago, though. Kind of like this hand. Also kind of don't, but I'll keep it. Bubblegummy19. Thank you for the sub... Thank you. Boobblegoom. <laughs> Boobblegoom. Boobblegoomy boy. Or girl. Um, I don't want this. I don't want that. I don't want that card. You sub just in time. I am now a YouTube partner. Yay. Enjoy all the ads you are now forced to endure. I don't know how that works, actually. I'm not, I'm not there yet. Or you just get an ad block. But I'm not sure I'm allowed to say that. It might be illegal. So, I'm going to leave up Mana Drain. I mean, because it's the best card in the game. And let's find let's find out if it works. Oh, what is that? Limited time earn exclusive emotes? I don't know what that is. I'm not going to cast Brainstorm, because I am... in love with my hand. I don't like end step Brainstorms, ever. Zatoisa? Zat... 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 Zajan... Metroid 21, thanks for the subscription. Enjoy my emote. <laughs> my one and only emote I've had for five years. <laughs> you enjoy that emote. You sit there and you enjoyed it. Okay, so there was an argument to leaving up double... Oh no, I couldn't. I had double red. I can't mana drain and also do other things with stuff. That is fine. I would never fight against that. I'm not going to blow it up either. It doesn't feel like that makes sense. This doesn't have flash, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, we can sit here all day. I have Mana Drain and you don't. I can sit here all day. All day. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Alright, so they do have a counter spell. So I think it's a good idea to... Um... I don't know, actually. I think I, I, think I lost because I didn't draw a third blue source. And I don't have Negate. It just worked! <laughs> it just worked. They kept it in the graveyard, too? Ooh, what's happening? I have anxiety right now. What do I do? I'm not I'm not I'm not supposed to have this much mana. Have I played competitive? Very long time ago. I used to climb the super high mythic um, in Magic Arena. In the first few years of it. I used to climb super high mythic. Uh, not anymore, though. Okay, I'm gonna cast a Braid because I would just like to spend my mana. I'm kind of starved on blue. And this could matter. I don't think it does, but you know what? It could. 
And I already played my land, so Brainstorm ain't helping me. I cannot believe that resolved and nothing stopped me. That's kind of nuts. But yeah, I used to play Control. It was basically Control only. Super Control heavy player. I mean, I'm going to send a Counterspell on anything. Wow. Just no counter magic. That's completely nuts. I feel kind of bad now. That is kind of nuts. Alright. Looking like a brainstorm moment. There's a ch chance I have to fetch, but there's also a big chance I don't. There's a pretty large chance I don't end up having to fetch here. Yeah, uh, when Teferi came out, I was... Well, when it came out, it came out basically when the game came out. I played blue-white Teferi control. Super sweaty. Super sweaty. Alright, yeah. Alright, my opponent had no counter spells. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. If they ever did, they had the mana just like sitting there and just could never use it, I guess. Why? Every time I play against this deck, it has this or that stupid other thing with stuff. Opponent, you were supposed to play your commander. Opponent. Ugh. Uh, uh, no, no. Need lands. All right. So now, to every day for your dailies. Yeah. <laughs> and when I'm just doing dailies, I do four wins. I won't push higher than four wins. And I'll just play a mono green deck because I win very, very, very often when I play mono green. It's like seventy-five percent win rate. I think Nissa. I think Nissa might be the best green commander I've bumped into. I have no idea what my opponent's doing right now. Um, it's giving me all sorts of anxiety. I will also proceed to do nothing. What is green at four here? What, what on earth? They didn't even level this up. What is this? There's that flash creature that you need a desert for, but they don't have a desert. I don't know what's happening. Archdruid's Charm. Oh, excuse me, they only have three mana. This is not a mana rock. I'm so used to green being stupid. It's not a mana rock. Pona says, oops. Apparently they just didn't mean to pass the turn, which would make sense, because I don't know what else it could have... I, I don't know what else... I... They played their land before they played their commander again. I probably should negate this, because there's not many negatable targets, and I'd rather not leave up mana for this. And this also incentivizes my opponent to play their commander, and they've already played their land. So there's a lot of a lot of reasons to negate. A whole bunch of them. And we got it. Whoop, let's not cast the flash one, there's no reason. Just cast this one. Alright, what do you do without your commander? gain life, and you sometimes do that. I'm gonna have to deal with that. Gonna have to deal with that one. Alright, I came ready. I came ready. Is it good enough? I don't know. I don't know. I will not be blocking Bill, but I can block the uh, Castlem. I would prefer not to River's Rebuke while both of these are in play. My opponent has infinite mana, so person may be new to the game. Yeah, I don't know. They could have been respecting counter spells or something weird. I love this attack. I love this attack. Uh, I will block. They already played Beseju, so I don't know what this could be. Some kind of weird combat trick. Trample. Trample would be kind of a nightmare, but not the end of the world. Alright. It was probably worst case scenario. Probably. I'm gonna assume that was worst case scenario. I went from winning to probably losing immediately. Not sure what to do now. The problem is I just don't want to get hit by this, right? My whole hand is phenomenal. Maybe I just Cyclonic Rift it. Ugh, it's just so ugly. I can't let it hit me is just the problem. Okay, they ca they spent their mana before they went to combat, so now I don't have to worry about them casting it post-combat, which is actually massive. It's what they call, the kids call these days, dummy huge. And I really don't want to windfall anything, I don't, th I kind of want to cast windfall, but like, I just cast this. 
four. That's fine. I kind of forgot I could cast this, actually. I'm not going to lie. I forgot I could cast this. I feel less bad about my life now. Ragavan's poop. This is not poop. And... I kind of... Mm, all right. I thought this one of the... Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, they're kind of out of lands, so bouncing this is not a big deal anymore. When I cast River's Rebuke, doesn't appear to do much. Oh look, it's the other card they always have turn one. Lucky me. They chose not to evolve this. That is nuts. I feel like I would have evolved that. Last card is Brawl, Blizzard Brawl, looks like. Or the Prey Upon. I think it's Blizzard Brawl. Okay, I like to see this, because I'm going to do it anyways, right? Might as well. I'm, it's going to die regardless. I'm casting a... Uh... Well, actually, maybe now I like don't have to. Maybe I just don't have to. My opponent didn't... Um... Yeah. Okay, well, I, I guess I can wait. See what happens. Uh, cycle that extra turn there. I think I can actually flip my commander. No way. I think I can actually just do it. I can. I can. I don't know if it's right, though. I don't know. I do run the risk of getting smacked around, but... I'm kind of in the mood to do this. I haven't had a game continue after I did this. Please draw something. Oh, yes! Okay, I actually drew a card, and it actually matters. So, here. I actually drew a storm-worthy spell. Here. Here. And we can even cast one here, because it won't die, and I can just cycle another card. So, there. There. Oh, man, this is great. I finally did it! I finally did it! Uh, okay. Yep, that dies, and then this dies, and I don't want to get rid of any other card. Actually, I'll get rid of this. It's I'm never going to, like, storm that or cast it twice or anything. I'm just going to get rid of it. Okay. Not only is this a game where I actually got this, the emblem and the game didn't end, I have Radical Idea right when it started, so... Let's see what it, we'll see what we can do. I gotta stop sipping vodka though. I don't wanna. I don't wanna lose. I can't afford to lose. It's an emotional thing. They played the land. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh wait, no, no. They had to. They had to to play both. Never mind. I was about to say maybe my opponent is uh, kind of new to the game, but no, they they had to do it in that order. So never mind. Okay. Uh, multiple brainstorms is not that exciting. Let's start with this. Yeah, multiple brainstorms is not really that exciting. I really wish I didn't tap too blue for that stupid radical I do. Let's get rid of you and you. Doesn't matter. Brainstorm, storming, storming brainstorm is not that appealing. And then we get rid of those cards. We cast opt. Alright, I'm past counter spells, I think. I'm actually not even sure what I'm looking for. Treasure cards? Treasure producers? Oh, alright. Looking for that. Um, yep. I mean, I don't have the mana to, like, do anything crazy after this, but I don't really care. Act yeah, again, I don't have the mana to... Oh, wait, Prismari Command. Does that give me enough treasures? Does that matter? Oh, wait! Strike it, Rich! <laughs> I forgot my deck did things. I've never let... My opponent's never let me do this. Oh, man. Uh, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, we did it! We did it! We actually got there. We actually got there. Yes! Yes! That was the... Uh... Hold on, let me look. Let me look. I think that was the 15th win of the day. Like, the last win for the dailies. It took, it took two and a half hours to actually do something with my commander, like, in that way. That was the last win I needed. Oh, that's awesome.
Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I hope he was resilient for sure. Very resilient. And it was against Bristly Bill. Of all things to beat last, it was Bristly Bill. Mono Green was like the one thing. Actually, wait. I have to say my okay. Okay. So this deck was awesome. It's kind of like the other Ral, if you're familiar with it. You could have put, or I could have put the other Ral in this deck. The four mana Ral that like minuses and then copies a spell. It's sort of doing the same thing, except it does a better job at protecting itself. Maybe a little bit slower, but it's in the same idea. And uh, with that being said, I went 15 and 3. I think I went 15 and 3. Yeah, I lost one game early, and then way, way at the back end, I lost two games in a row. But uh, the worst things to bump into were, like, uncontested green ramp spells when they were on the play. That was kind of the one thing that was a nightmare to bump into. If my opponent's on the play and they play Land War Elves, and I have no answer to it, and then it goes back to them, and then they cast a three-minute ramp spell, the game is kind of over. Uh, it's just how it is, right? That's why green is the best thing ever, because green gets to run seven or eight Ragavans, and I can only run one. Uh, that's rough. If I'm on the play against Mono Green, it's a lot better when they have a mon uh, Mana Dork, because then I go back to my turn, I have two mana, and then, you know, the game's a lot different, but the, the it was definitively over when I was against Green Deck, and they had a Mana Dork. But um, sometimes we, we avoided that, and that's not every game you play. Right. And again, sometimes you can beat that still. It's not the complete end-all be-all, but it puts your opponent like 75-25 their favor. The core strategy is functional, and the ultimate is something people don't really have an answer to, right? Like if you... I could... Now that... After playing all those games, I think it's safe to say I could probably have ran... 10 more cheap spells that don't have to be counter spells. I would probably not touch any of the counter spells, but like some of these other cards could maybe be counter uh <laughs> more burn spells or something. And um or just cantrips like cheap card draw so I could quickly race the emblem, right? The emblem doesn't immediately win the game, but the drawing 3 helps a lot. It's a huge jump. If it didn't draw three, it would be like, eh, but it does. So it's like, you're doing all the things this does, and then it comes with a harmonize, or I guess a concentrate, because they're not green. And then it gets the storm thing. I don't know if there's a way to keep track of how many spells you cast, and I don't know how relevant that is. It's pretty over once you start going. But there were a lot of games where people saw the writing on the wall, in my opinion, one turn too early. There's a lot of games where I get to untap with Ral, and my opponent just sort of gives up because they assume I can just immediately do it. And that's not always the case. In the way I've built it, it is definitely not the case. If it's at 7 loyalty, and I have a bunch of cards in hand, and I'm untapping right then and there, I don't always have 3 spells to go with it to immediately go into the Ral ultimate. And even if I do, those 3 spells might have been it for the turn. And I might not be storming after that. So I think people may have conceded slightly too early, but there's also the argument when I untap with a fair amount of cards in hand and a Planeswalker as a blue deck, does it really matter? <laughs> Probably not, right? I, I can see myself conceding in spots like that. It's kind of rough. I didn't spam infinite turns or anything. Karn's Temporal Sundering I was the correct card to take out, though. I, I Every time this would have gone off, it would not really ever expect itself to be in play after the fact, right? Say you have three spells, Ral is at nine, and then you cast one to get to ten. You now don't want to cast the other two spells before this would kill itself to do the thing, because you want the next two spells to have Storm on them. So it almost always goes to the command zone when you ultimate it, because you want the preceding spells to have Storm. Which means you don't ever have a Legendary for your historic spell, Karn's Temporal Sundering. So I don't like Karn's Temporal Sundering. Commandeer, I think, yeah, it won me one game and then did nothing else after. 
so take that for what you will. Commandeer only gets better in the higher tiers you are, and I, I maybe like the middle tier that I assume I was in. This might not be that exciting, but it did win me the game and it felt kind of cool, but you don't have to run this card. It's not, it's not that exciting. I really wish it was any spell and not just like non-creatures, but it is what it is, right? Stealing most commanders would probably make this card be banned, but it can't steal creatures. It can steal Planeswalker commanders, it just can't steal creature ones, so... If it could steal creatures, then it's probably an auto-include in all blue decks ever. Uh, especially with, you know, it now being able to mind control for zero mana every commander in the game. <laughs> Right, it would offset the polarizing Llanowar Elves because now you just stole your opponent's Azusa and they're staring at you. Invo invert polarity is just a cancel. Um, I would never take this card assuming I have a chance to steal anything crucial. However, every time I cast this, I've lost the flip. I have never won the flip with this card in my life. But if you watch my content, you'll see why I complain so much because stuff like that always happens to me. I have lost all my 50-50s on Invert Polarity, but it's still probably better than something like Cancel or whatever, any generic 3-minute counterspell, because if you do randomly steal your... Oh, wait. No, you can't steal Commanders. You can't, because when it changes zones, I think your opponent has the option to put it to the Command Zone, because it goes from the stack to the battlefield. I'm actually not sure how that works with Invert Polarity. I think they have the option to move it to the command zone. They changed commanders, this is a while ago, like two, three, maybe four years. When commanders died, they wouldn't do on death triggers because they went to the command zone and would not go to the graveyard. But they changed it so they still technically die and you get your death triggers like Blood Artist. But I don't know what happens when it goes from the stack to the battlefield. It doesn't ask you as a controller to ever reference it from the battlefield to the command zone. So I don't actually know. I'm sure a thousand people have had that happen to them. So it's pretty easy to answer. I just always lose the flip. So I don't actually know what happens when you steal a commander. But outside of that, um, this losing the flip on this once lost me a game, which is kind of unfortunate. Because if I stole the spell, I actually would have won. But uh, I didn't. Um, <clears throat> the mana count was fine. It was 37 with a lot of MDFC lands that I don't usually run all the MDFC cards, but they all sort of care about my commander, so it's sort of free, right? Basically free. Uh, the counterspell package was fine. I did not necessarily feel like I wanted more burn spells, right? Honestly, for the most part, the Humiliate effects were stronger than the Burn spells, even though they don't have Storm. I still think uh, that they were better. I ended up taking out Shock, because, I, I mean, just... The Humiliate, Frogify things are just better. They're just better. When I have to deal with something, it's a good idea to deal with it basically forever, and I don't really care if it's poking my commander, because I can really outpace that with all the loyalty. There's no incentive to play proliferate cards. Maybe you could run the spell-based ones. I wasn't, but you probably could run it. I know there's a couple of them in blue. I think there's like two that are at two mana in blue. I wouldn't run Karn's Bastion, the land. I, I wouldn't run that, but I think there are prob there's probably an, an argument to running proliferate cards. Like I liked Radical Idea for the ultimate, so it's two spells for Storm in the same turn, right? Because you can cast it twice. And it's better than uh, Think Twice because it costs less mana, and you probably don't care to discard anything. Discarding, discarding a card is not really ever a big deal. But uh, I could see... Actually, let's look. Let's look. Do, 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 do. I always type pro-life. <laughs> gets, me, gets me where I want, right? Gets me where I want to be. Um, yeah, Experimental Augury, Contentious Plan, Serum Snare, probably, probably. I could, I could see this. Thrumming Bird, I don't know, I don't know. It's like a Sorcery Speed spell that's not that exciting, but, I mean, so is this? Uh, I don't know. Tezzeret's Gambit is alright. Um, Staff of Completion is kind of weird at 3. I'd prefer to cast my Commander on turn 3 with all the Mana Rocks that I've cast on turn 2. So that's why that was not in here. 
And yeah, I wouldn't play Karn's Bastion. I think the mana colors are too strict for Karn's Bastion. And it's a little too expensive to consistently activate. It costs 5 to activate, right? You would rather just cast spells to proliferate. Because all of your spells already proliferate your loyalty counters. Because they just automatically get one. Um, but, you know, the only reason to run these is because you get two instead of one. So, that's just something to take note of. I might actually add them uh, when I upload my list. But they just just know they weren't in the deck the three hours I was playing it. <laughs> but uh, these three, at least, kind of make sense to me. I, I can see room for them in the deck, just running those, but I chose not to. But other than that, the blue-red control, burn, bounce, and then win very quickly with a resolved commander is just a solid strategy, and this is just another one of those things. This row, the old row, the old four-mana row, um, Niv Mizzet Perun, right? It's just sort of doing blue-red things and then wins with a um, protect it, usually. A protect it, safely resolved, nice and snug, <laughs> in play, commander. So, I can recommend it. I liked it. It's fun. It's up my alley. I like control decks more than most things, anyways, so. Can recommend. Um, I can make a list that doesn't involve all these mana rocks. I'm not sure how definitive it was to always have one of these or like really need one every single time, but any time in any game where my opponent did not force me to leave up interaction, it was fine to just run this out on turn three, right? And uh, that is way better than turn four because most of the time when you go to cast this on turn four, you cannot do that, because now it's turn four. So you have to leave up magic cards <laughs> to cast against your opponent's magic cards instead of casting this on turn four, right? That is a steep, steep difference. Uh, four mana commanders would be in a categorically different space other than Pock. If it were not for mana rocks, right? Other than green cards, I should say. Non-green. Everything I say about magic and everything I analyze at the end of my videos, just take take into consideration. Green probably doesn't fall under that category. <laughs> green is uh, doing its own thing, and we're all just here to watch. But um, I like this deck. All right. I'm going to stop talking. Let me know what you thought about it. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.